Dubs is Delight. In today's video, we are making the most talked about meal. And guess what it is? Jollof rice. Nigerians and Ghanaians have been in this competition for so long. And today I am here to prove to you that Nigerian jollof has nothing on Ghanaian jollof. So if you are not Nigerian or Ghanaian and you've tasted jollof, try this recipe and let's settle the score. <laughs> Guys, it's all fun and jokes. By the way, if you're new to this channel, I give you a warm welcome. Kindly click on the subscription button. And if you already have, kindly click on the little bell so that whenever I post a video, you will be the first to know. Now, let's get cooking. <laughs> In making your jollof rice, you would need your onions. Don't fret about the quantity of onions because it amplifies the taste of your jollof, okay? <laughs> you need your ginger, your garlic, your seasoning cube, your rosemary, bay leaves, nutmeg, coriander powder, curry powder, salt, you need your fresh ingredients, which is your tomatoes, your mixed peppers. Please do not omit this as it gives that flavor you need. Your pointed peppers, your tomato puree, your chopped tomato or plump tomato, your oil, your chicken stock or any stock you've got, and your rice. Bear in mind, I'm making enough of the base so I can keep some for later and not forgetting your peppers. <laughs> so I've started off by cutting my fresh vegetables, that is my fresh tomatoes, my pointed peppers, my mixed peppers and my peeled plum tomato for blending. Mind you, all my vegetables were thoroughly washed and cleaned before cutting. I'll set it on medium high heat to cook. This is done to reduce the cooking time of the base, which is the stew for the jollof. So our tomato blend has been cooking for like 20 minutes now. While that is still on fire, I'll prep my ginger, garlic, onions and pepper for making the stew. I got a large and wider pot to start my jollof stew. Remember that you need a large but one cooking jollof to accommodate the rice. I transferred my oil and once it was hot, I added my blended mix, fried it for 5 minutes and added one chopped onion from the onions I listed earlier. I then went ahead to add my bay leaves, my nutmeg, coriander powder, rosemary and curry powder. I stirred it to combine it thoroughly and left it to cook for another 10 minutes. I went ahead to check on my tomato blended mix and as you can see it's thickening up nicely. Cook this until all sec. I went ahead to throw in my puree stirred it until thoroughly combined. I left it to cook for another 10 minutes. Please make sure you stir it intermittently or else you end up having a burnt base. Once it's all flaky like this, we are ready to add our tomato blend. And now our tomato blend is all thickened up guys and ready to go into our stew base. I'll then add my seasoning cube and the rest of the natural spices and the salt and stir to combine thoroughly. I'll leave it to simmer for about 10 minutes so that all of the ingredients can marry. Look at how red and rich it looks guys, I can envisage where this is going. Let's see how it tastes so far. Mm. Guys, it's coming together really well. 
I'm only going to adjust the salt just a little bit. I also added half a teaspoon of baking soda to take away the bitter bite or sourness in the stew. At this point, <laughs> our jalob base is ready and the aroma here guys, you should be here to smell it. It's turned out perfectly guys, just look at that. I'm just going to set half of this aside for the next time I make jalob. At this point, I heated my chicken stock and added it, rinsed it with some hot water and added it as well. I gave it a good stir and set it to boil. Before I added my rice, I never add cold water to my jello fries as it prolongs the cooking time. So if there is the need to adjust the water, please use hot water. I stirred it to thoroughly combine turned it to medium low heat and let it cook for five minutes guys after five minutes I'm going to give it a quick and gentle stir I covered it with a foil and turned the heat to low heat Guys, at this point, you need to make sure that it's tightly covered and sealed so that no heat or vapor is escaping. Remember, it is the steam that cooks the rice and not the constant stirring or turning. So, tightly cover it to seal and trap all the heat, okay? Please, when you're tempted to stir, don't stir it. Guys, after 25 minutes, let's see how our jollof is doing. Okay, so it's cooking nicely. We are almost there. I'm still not going to stir it, guys. Now, you can stir it. <laughs> the look of the jollof speaks for itself, guys. Just look at that. As I turn it, you can see the richness, the redness, and how moist the rice looks, guys. It's so fluffy. <laughs> this is original Ghana jollof, my people. The moment we've all been waiting for is finally here. I am so happy. Jalof makes me so happy. Look at the color and everything. No hustle, no bustle, but it turned out perfectly. This is how you want your Jalof, guys. It's so beautiful and the aroma the aroma, the aroma guys. <laughs> the moment of truth is here guys. It's all ready now. And as always, I get the first bite. It's time to taste. Original Ghana jollof. Nothing beats it. Yummy. <laughs> Finally, we get to settle the scores, guys. Try this recipe and let me know your comments later. Thank you for being with me. This has been another edition of Debsy's Delight. Until I come your way again, I love you, but God loves you most. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. Bye for now.